Is it bad? No. Is it phenomenal? No. Is it good? Sure. I'm just completely whelmed. It was exactly what I expected from the director. Well executed, but more of the same. And content warning, it is a Predator movie. It's gory. The cinematography is gorgeous with what seems like a lot of natural lighting and the great plains setting providing lush landscapes and beautiful scenery within every shot. I love the look and feel of it. It adds to the grit of being a Predator movie. But it also makes the VFX problem worse as there's some really middling CGI that stands out like a sore thumb, especially with the animals. I've seen worse, but there's certainly better. However, the staging of the action is nicely done, especially with a really cool long take sequence knife fight. Pretty dope. That CGI, man, it just takes you out of it a couple times. It feels like it could have been a lot better. I really appreciate the visceral side of this movie. It's entertaining as heck when the Predator is around. His kills are gnarly and he looks awesome, especially when they focus on the practical makeup as opposed to, again, the iffy CGI. It's pretty cool they went with the other type of Predator from the film Predators, the like Blood Feud, Alpha Predator one, uh, with the like bigger mouth face thing. It was a nice touch, it was, it was pretty cool. As are the indirect and direct callbacks to past films that lead to a pretty unique way to do a mid credit scene that's scary ominous the more you think on it. I like Predator lore and it was cool to see some of that fleshed out and them really appreciate the franchise for what it is and all the history that it has. The performances are fine with the lead being really well done and believable. Her arc is clear, if a little too obvious and forced at times, and forced might be a strong word, but more like on the nose with the themes uh, surrounding her, even though I was still rooting for her. The emotional through line is not as strong as it should be, especially with a big moment with her sibling about midway through, maybe right before the third act. I've read that some find this movie to be a lean, no fat, 100 minute action fest of a film and I disagree. I really felt like the pacing at several portions during this film crawled and made it feel like it was longer than it needed to be. To the point I nearly fell asleep and I never do that. And maybe that's another issue. It should have been released in theaters as the visceral nature of it, the intensity would have been much better experience on the big screen. But again, it's what I thought it would be. An entertaining standalone Predator movie about the same old premise in a different setting and time trying to course correct after the disappointing mess that was the previous one. It's a back to basics type thing. It does nothing truly to further the franchise, resolve cliffhangers from the past two films, or do anything new really at all. It knows what it is, and I appreciate such care given to representing the Comanche people, but as an installment in a franchise that's never been fully realized, it's a small bummer. But even so, these kinds of small bummers can be entertaining one-offs. If this does anything, I do like the idea of having Predator movies set in different periods throughout time, this being the starting point as to not mess with canon, slowly building the mythology more and more with these concepts. I think particularly a samurai movie, like Samurai vs. Predator, would be really awesome. But I do want a full-scale sci-fi horror war epic follow-up in space with the Predator homeworld to follow up on the ending of these last two films and all the cool mythology introduced in the latest video game. I enjoyed it, just not blown away. Not overwhelmed by anything from it and not really underwhelmed either, just whelmed. I give Prey. 3.5 out of 5 stars. What did you think, Prey? I hope you enjoyed it. Please watch some more of my other videos. Click uh, in the end screen coming up in just a few seconds to check out all the different things I've been doing that'll hint at more content coming your way soon. And remember, always look for the good.